guys, welcome back to the Avalone Tree and welcome to my under the sea theme shelves for this week. Wow. So starting at the top, we've got some fiction and non-fiction books. I've got some books about sharks, the Osborne Big Book of Sea Creatures, Fidgety Fish, The Shark in the Dark. We've got Shark and Lobster, Commotion in the Ocean, Tiddler and Gilbert in Deep. So going along the side, we've got some vocab cards from Twinkle. And I've got some pictures of under the sea creatures as well from Twinkle. The shell poster was from Etsy and I had that in my last video. So I'll try to link that below. If I remember it's from and all these vocabs are from Twinkle as well. All right, going along the top here, we've got a little basket of some stencils and some stickers and these little cutout of under the sea creatures that I got from Baker Ross. Um, they're just card and then the kids decorate them. So this is one my little boy did already. I've got a Melissa and Doug water bowl, which is quite old, but I thought I'd throw that in there. It's under the sea one. We've got an Osborne under the sea book here. We've got Tales from the Ocean and then two non-fiction books there so they can easily pick those up and read. A basket of shells that I had from my seaside theme and I've just kept them there. I've got some Eric and Albert fish. We've got some counting cards. They are just from Twinkle as well and they're just numbers up to 20. And then you just use the pegs to clip the answer. In this little basket I've just got some sponge Creatures. They are from Crayola and I just got them from a crafting shop. So over here we just have our Yoto player and our cards which sit there. Tiddler is the only one we have with matching the book. And then we've got some, then we've got a turtle life cycle there. We did that in our spring time but I thought I'd bring that back out because it's under the sea. We've got some new cutting activities. These are just pictures from Twinkle. I think they're actually made for putting on little lollipop sticks, but I thought they were quite good for cutting practice. Here we've just got our salt. Now I dyed the salt um, for my last video, which was the seaside. And then when we're not using it, I've just kept it in a little Tupperware box. And then when we want to do the handwriting or spelling activities, I'll empty it in our little tray there. Over here, we've just got the houses. These three chalkboard houses are from Hobbycraft. And they're about eight pounds for the set. And then in the back there, we've just got some little treasure cues. We've got our yellow door videos. Our tinker tray has stayed the same from the last video. So I've just added the book in the back there. Then coming along to the shelves, we've got a little small world play we've got some games i've got two games in there we've got a play-doh and then a bunch of maths and literacy games so in the small world setup we've got some grim's waves i put an osborne look inside sea book behind there and then we've got some holtz tiger whales and goldfish and some eric and albert and the whale in this tray, we've got two games. This is like a fishing game. This one was from Lidl or might have been Aldi last year. And it comes with all the different fish. And it comes with two magnetic little fishing rods to play. And then in this basket, we've got a little balancing game that was also from Aldi a year ago. And we've got a bunch of fish and you've just got to stack them up on top of the whale to balance it. In this tray we've got some play-doh and two play-doh mats. So the play-doh mats are from Twinkle and then inside the play-doh tray I think the tray was just from Tesco's it was a it's a dip tray 
it's a really nice hard plastic one. So I've got some Baker Ross and a mixture of Hobbycraft craft toppers in the under the seam theme. I've got some shells, which we just collected on the beach. I've got three different under the sea colors. I've got some tools. And then I've added in some pipe cleaners this time, which I thought could be seaweed. And then we've got some more craft toppers. I've got some coral, some shells as well. And then for some Play-Doh cutters, we've got shell, fish, dolphin, a shark, and octopus. And that is the Play-Doh tray. And in our last tray, we've just got a bunch of activities and I've just popped them in a tray. And then what I'm going to do is actually take them out and just display them one um, at a time. But for this video, I'm just going to show you everything I've got. So once I'm done, I'm actually going to take a bunch of these out and just display them one at a time. So, so I'm just going to rotate these. So in this tray, we've got some. First activity is some under the seat peg board cards and these are from Twinkle and they've got different under the sea themes and then we've got some little pegs and then the board. I've got um, four of these boards. These ones came from Amazon and they're really really lovely for fine motor skills, making patterns. That's a lot of fun. And then these cards I got from Teachers Pay Teachers and they were free printable and they are some measuring cards and what I thought I could do is with using some Unifix cubes is to using the cubes to measure the different fish. So using the cubes to measure along the line and how many cubes is the length of the dolphin. And then we could go through the different animals and then when he's got the hang of this this would probably be this will be for my four-year-old and once he's got the hang of that then I'll use a ruler and introduce that to him. So I'll link these cards below and these cards are from the Lego website. Now they used to do a lot of these free printables by Lego Education. When I went on last night to find them I can't find them anymore so I think Lego is taking them down because this is about two years old these pictures. So. I'll see if I can find them, but I don't think I don't think they're on the Lego yeah. website anymore. But if they are, I'll link them below. Yeah. And a few maths and literacy games. These are from funlearningforkids.com and these were free. And with some dice, I'm going to use two dice for these ones, roll the dice and then count the numbers and then place a counter on them. So we've got two. We can use just one dice for younger kids. Or I might try for my two-year-old. And then we've got some alphabet ones and what I might do with, I've also got one from Twinkle as well. With the rice tray, I'm going to hide some magnetic letters or wooden alphabets inside the rice tray. And then they'll put their hands in it to find the letters and match the letters up for those ones. And then that's an also an R. That's just the uppercase as well. And then this one is the one from Twinkle that I got got a bunch of these under the sea theme pattern block cards and these you just get on Amazon these are just the plastic ones you can get and then they just have to build the pictures with the shapes like that so these were free as well and I'll leave the link below but we've got quite a few we've got I can build a lobster, I can build a fish, stingray, whale, octopus. And so those are the pattern blocks cards. And these are the little sun catchers that are fishes. And I had them from last year and these were left over. So someone's already started that one. And what do we have? We have these little pens that you use. So you don't actually have to use the paint. But they just colour them and then we've got some string you can hang them up by the windows. So I thought this might be a nice little art activity. In the rice sensory tray I've just dyed some green and blue rice and then just mixed them together. 
I've got some little glass shells which I got from a crafting shop. Um, I used them in my last video, I'm just reusing them. You've just got a bunch of plastic little sea creatures, some scoops, and then I made two resin um, items. I made a seahorse and a goldfish. And then I thought we could use these. And then I'm also going to reuse all the sea creatures and this and put it in our top tray outside with some water. So that is the rice sensory bin. And then one last activity is a pom-pom activity. And I love using pom-poms because it helps straighten their fine motor skills and helps with writing and pre-writing. So this mat is just from Twinkle. And then I got some tools are from Learning Resources. Then I've got some Grimm's tweezers and some other ones from the set. And then I've just got some under the sea colour pom-poms to go with it. And then what they do is using tweezers to pick it up and place them on the circles like that. And that's that. And this is the under the sea fine motor activity. And that is it guys. That is my under the sea theme shelves for my children. I hope you like this video and I hope you consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a big like. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.